Now, in the last few weeks, we've seen multiple emergency meetings of the United Nations. We've told you about them. The General Assembly, the Security Council, all those votes and resolutions, all meeting and debating the Ukraine war. But none of this urgency was shown for some other conflicts in our world, some wars that continue to fester in other parts of the world, which are not Europe. Yemen, for instance, has long been branded the forgotten war. Ethiopia has been at it for 16 months, intense fighting and bloodshed. Doesn't even make it to the headlines. Well, now there's a truce. Will this spell the end of war? Or is this just a pause for worse to follow? Here's a report. This is Ethiopia, a landlocked country in the Horn of Africa, with 114 million inhabitants. Since November 2020, the Tigray region in Ethiopia's north has been embroiled in an armed conflict. The war between the Tigray People's Liberation Front and the forces of Ethiopian Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed, 52,000 civilians have died in this war. 100,000 soldiers have been killed, 400,000 people have been displaced, and 5.2 million have been pushed into starvation. The war has been on for 16 months, but finally there are signs of a thaw. On Thursday, the government of Abiy Ahmed declared a humanitarian truce. A truce with the rebel Tigrayan forces, this is to allow aid into Tigray also to pave a path for ceasefire. A statement by Ethiopia's communications service says, we have declared an indefinite humanitarian truce effective immediately. To optimize its success, we call upon the insurgents in Tigray to desist from acts of further aggression and withdraw from areas they have occupied in neighboring regions. How did this truce come about? No one knows. Some reports suggest a U.S. intervention. Earlier this week, the U.S. Special Envoy for the Horn of Africa visited Addis Ababa and met Ethiopian officials. The truce was announced shortly after he left. So there is speculation over America's role. Has the Tigrayan side accepted this truce? It has. In a statement released on Thursday, it said, the government of Tigray will do everything it can do to make sure the cessation of hostilities is a success. So both sides want peace. But there's still reason to be skeptical. First of all, the blockade in Tigray hasn't been lifted. Officials at the UN say aid flights to the region are still blocked. And it isn't clear if other militias would even allow them. Secondly, this truce is not the first of its kind. In June 2021, a similar ceasefire was announced. The government promised to end its military operations. The rebels also promised to lay down their arms, but it was not long before fighting flared up again. Will this truce meet the same fate? Only time will tell. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.